Hey guys, Barbara here, and I'm all by myself. All by myself. Hey, hello to Hi, Why am I all by myself? Because I'm trying this spot for the first time, y'all. Let me get my meat. Oh, you know what? I gotta serve. Hold on. I can't eat all this pasta because then I'll be as big as a whale. So I'm just gonna have some. I've had so many false starts with this mukbang today because this is the first time I'm trying my new studio that I made. Well, I didn't make it, me and Joe and the kids. Everybody helped out. Over the weekend, we worked hard on this because I need to have a new studio. I've been watching B Loves teach on what to do to step up your mukbang game. And let me tell you, the first thing she said was, you gotta eat within the first minute. So let me shut up and eat. I tried to make spaghetti. And then I realized we don't have no spaghetti sauce. So it is what it is, guys. But I didn't want to like let Joe be in on this one because Joe gets you know crazy when he's hungry. And um, I don't want him to take off my head while I'm trying to test all this. Mm -hmm. Mm. Tasty, but dry. I'm going to see if you can see it. I need some of the gravy from the meat. Mm. Joe, would you mind bringing me some of the gravy from the meat? Wait, don't do it yet. Let me see if I have some in this jar. Oh, I'll have a little bit. All I did was cook the ground beef, season it up well, and throw some ketchup in there. I got some beans, some broccoli, some tomato. It's very tasty, guys. But I wish I had spaghetti sauce. Mm. I gotta practice not to clink my teeth for you guys. So let me tell you about my day. I woke up, this is Monday. Yeah, I'm taping this. You're gonna see this tomorrow, Tuesday. I woke up to Joe taking the whole house apart because we have plumbing issues. Mm. Oh my goodness, that tomato is so juicy. You could hear that juice going down. So in the master bathroom, the sink not working. It's plugged up. We try those natural things. People say like baking soda and all stuff. Nothing's working. The reason why it got plugged up is because we can't put our hand on bleach. We normally throw like a gallon of bleach down the, the drains. Throw out the, or we use the whole gallon to pour in all the drains. And that's what keeps it maintained. But, mm, I didn't even bring paper napkin. This time, we can't get no beach because of you know what. No, this house is built stupid to where anything happens in the front bathroom affects the back and vice versa. So, when Joe is plunging the sink, the stuff's getting backed up into the front bathroom. And I just pray that it didn't affect the toilet and the bathtub because that's coming next. It's nail on that. So my whole beautiful bedroom that we just renovated is in a hot mess. I have to go in and clean off everything at the bathroom because you know when they plumber work, what they do, right? They don't clean off their mess. Mm -mm. Anyway, I have plumbing issue. I have internet issue. The internet man was supposed to come Friday between 12 and 2. They texted me, well, the robot texted me and told me that the man was going to come all the way till after 4. And they're like, press cancel if you want to cancel the appointment. Press reschedule. Well, not press. You spell it out. Or say keep. So I said keep. I want to keep my appointment. Tell me why it's 7 o'clock come and then people didn't come. And then when I called AT&T after hours, you know, you get Europe or in there or somewhere else. This time it was, was Europe that I got. Well, at first when I called... I was on hold for a whole hour. 
I just sat there editing and let the music play on the phone. And so then, I hang up the phone, I call back, and when it says, when the, um, the man on the, the computerized voice says, what can we help you with? I say, where is my agent? I started to yell. They got on that phone within 30 seconds. The first guy lied to me. I don't like to be lied to. If you start lying to me, I will start to dislike you right away. And so when I watch these YouTubers and they do things for storyline purposes and I figure there's a lie in there, I quit. All right, mm -mm. I don't want no clickbait. Anyway, when I start to tell off the lead guy, he said, let me put you with the supervisor. Tell me why he transferred me to U-verse and I don't have no darn U-verse and nobody answered the phone. So I called back and I said, where is my technician? <laughs> so I came on again within 30 minutes, 30, 30 seconds. The guy that came on was really nice. He was in Europe somewhere. And he told me they were lying to me. He said, first of all, there was no technician schedule. And he says, what they do, the technicians start their day. And when they're done, they tell them where to go next. They didn't tell nobody to come to me. So they said, I'm a priority today. They're going to come between two and four. They already text me two times and say, they're going to come 2.30. No, they're going to come 3.30. I don't know when the people going to come. If they're going to come. AT&T sucks. I would not even take them out as a sponsor, even if I was starving. They suck. So, I was just like, got kind of getting overwhelmed because I really wanted to try out this green screen thing. I, I hope it works as I see a shadow over here somewhere, but Jory says we can fix it in post. <laughs> but I wanted to do like different backgrounds. Just put up different backgrounds every time I'm going to do it. But Jory's like, if you do a green screen, you could change the background to anything. So I don't know what the background is going to be for this one. It might be that beautiful floral arrangement crocheted thing my friend Lisa made for me. I took a, a picture of it. I might put that there. I might put... Maybe a picture of my uh, vacation in Belize when I went in 2013. Oh, by the way, raise your hand if you need a vacation. I need a vacation. And I'm not even the vacation type of person. Let me tell you why. As a wife and mother, when there's a family vacation, the burden is left on me. You know that. I'm talking to you moms and wives. You know everybody excited for vacation, but that you have to plan everything. Keep track of the passport. Keep Go buy the new clothes, buy the new underwear. Pack the suitcases, you know? So, I need a vacation though from this uh, quarantine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go re edit my Belize vacation video 2013. And maybe tell it from a reminiscent perspective. So, for people who are new to the channel, Welcome, by the way. You guys can see that beautiful vacation we had. Joe. Joe. Mm. Can I bother you for a paper napkin, baby? I know you're not supposed to do that in the mukbangs, but I forgot to get one with everything that was going on. Everybody was in the kitchen getting their food. And Jory eat like every two hours. So by the time the other kids got their food and Jory came back, he was eating again. Before I could do my mukbang. Anyway, I might edit that video. I might put one of the videos here. I might do it in two portions because this is going to be a big video. Thank you, honey bun. Joe's going to be back for another mukbang when we get this thing figured out, okay? Yeah, so I'll put the second video at um, Bear Pantry Top because I thought I was going to be smart and I was going to put one minute videos at Bear Pantry Top. The stuff that I put at TikTok and Instagram. Until I was watching B Loves Teach and she says, uh, Google and YouTube don't like no short videos. They like them long. You're not even going to be in the algorithm. I've learned so much in the past two days that my head hurts. Let me tell you something. I think that I'm the kind of person that was putting up videos and praying, 
praying that they would go somewhere because I put so much work into the videos to make them quality, right? And now I realize that prayers don't help your YouTube channel. What's going on like that, Joe? Joe, mm. did you hear that? Yeah. What's doing that? Mm. Oh, it's your chicken that's cooking? Go see if something's wrong. Mm -hmm. You guys hear a noise, right? It just dropped. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Joe is making a rotisserie chicken. I think it's falling. So. <clears throat> anyway, I found out that professional, seasoned, big YouTubers, they have a lot of things that they do to get their videos out there. It's up. You know? Let me get this tomato, guys. Give me a moment. Mm. Mm. These were good ones. Do I get these from the food bank? We got some before that was nasty. These are so good. Yeah. So big YouTubers, they know what they're doing. And I've taken plenty of classes from Facebook and YouTube, but I still don't understand. Mm. It's spinning out my mouth. I still don't understand what I'm doing wrong. But I understand a little bit better now though. So I'm going to be trying. First of all, I want to thank the people. My people who have subscribed to my channel. I'm talking to the people at the cooking channel at YouTube specifically. You guys really come out for me and watch the videos because the last mukbang got over 900 views. And that wasn't because it was searchable. I did a thing to check out my hashtags and found out there was no searchable hashtags in my hashtags that I put in that video. Not one. So nobody searched for me. What do people say? Nobody checking for you, girl. Nobody checking for you. All them views are from my diehard supporters. And at Facebook, well, I don't know what the algorithm at Facebook and what the hashtag, yada, yada. But Facebook, the people always come and watch too. So I'm grateful too. Yeah, so what you can do to help me, because I want to get to 100K by my birthday, August the 14th. Me and Halle Berry born on the same day, you know. Mm-hmm. Me and Holly Bond, August 14, 66. We the same age. Anyway, according to Social Blade, I'm not supposed to get to 100K till Christmas. Child, that's too far. We can do this. I'm almost near 80,000, and all I need is 20,000 more. I saw a video with a young lady that I was learning some stuff from, too, besides Bila's. She did 100,000 in three months. I said, wow. So, I'm working on my, um, my titles, my description, my hashtag, on my thumbnails. I don't think my mukbang thumbnails are great. Speaking of which, I didn't do a thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to look like. Here I am talking about the stupid thumbnail and here I am didn't do a good thumbnail. I'm going to get it together, guys. You guys bear with me, please. Pretty please with sugar on top. So, at my second YouTube page, I'm going to start putting some day in the life. The ITL. It's not going to be like a vlog like I put on my Patreon. Because the vlog is more intimate. The day in the life is just me showing you what happens a day in the life. Like, I might show the disaster happened this morning with the plumbing, and then over the weekend, Joe did a cleaning video. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I have to get something going at my second page because the people there are faithful to my page. You know? Let me see my glasses. Mm, mm, mm. We're doing good, guys. 15 minutes. This camera dies at 23 minutes, and that's what I'm trying to achieve. So, this was pretty good. You know what? I take it back. I don't need the spaghetti sauce. That stuff is not good for me anyways. This is all vegetables and some of the ground beef with a little tad of the gravy and the thin spaghetti. Well, you have to eat it when it's still hot. 
because you could you could see the gravy up getting cold right now. So are you guys with me? Hmm. By the way, I don't assume that everybody that watches my Facebook or YouTube are just a watcher. Do you have a channel? If you have a channel, inbox me. Tell me the name of the channel. I'll go check it out. And I'll give you a shout out. Now keep in mind, I don't know if my shout out value anything. But I will. The reason that I want to go check it out first is because if you're doing stuff that doesn't align with my brand, no. I'm just being honest. I'm not squeaky uh, clean or holier than thou, but I do, I have built my brand around that because I want my videos to be seen by grandma, uh, gra grandma, grandmas and, you know, granddads and stuff with their grandbabies. And so that's why I keep it clean at the page, right? So I'll go shout you out. Like I said, I don't know if it's worth anything. You know what I'm also looking into? Cameo. Everybody been doing Cameo. I don't know if anybody wants a shout out for me or from me on Cameo. I wouldn't charge a lot. I see people like I still up there charging $350 for a shout out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know what I could buy with $350? And then I see other comedians and stuff that you may have seen in, mu in movies as a, um, you know, a side person. Um, they may have had a speaking role or two. They're up there for 55 bucks. So I was thinking, five or 10 bucks. Your baby has a birthday. And you guys know I showed you guys up for free anyways. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes I kind of snicker like, I don't wanna do that because nobody is gonna really want that from me. But Jada's boss told me the last trip that they were here in February. Don't thumb your nose up and anything. And it's not that I'm thumbing my nose up. I just don't feel like people, do, you know, have a value off of what's being offered. And says, don't sign up for every network and platform that comes your way. Because you know what? You can never tell which one's going to blow up for you. What if YouTube is not my thing and my cameo blows up? I don't know. And by the way, I don't have a cameo yet. Okay. <laughs> we'll look into it. So... This has definitely been an experience. I have the second camera going here because this is a camera that has the mic. I don't like the way the food looks in this camera. That's why I always have this uh, Canon G7X going. A lot of mukbangers and vloggers use this camera. But I have this whole green screen on the wall, guys. And I'm telling you, maybe I can clip out of what I have for the background to show you the green screen. I'm going to try. I'm not going to throw away this video, no matter if it doesn't come out, because Jory was like, why don't you just like record something and go test it to see if it works? Why are you going to do a whole mukbang? And then maybe you have to throw it away. I'm like, mm, okay, well, I was going to eat lunch anyways. That's what I'm saying. I can't eat the whole thing. I've been trying to cut down because I don't want to have no pandemic belly. Just saying. Just <laughs> Remember what I told you guys? Don't trust. If you live in a town where they're opening up everything, don't trust this V, I, you know what I mean, hasn't gone anywhere. It's not jumped into the sea. It's not jumped on a plane and gone someplace else. It's not on a rock hidden. It's not in a Maya ruin hidden. It's still here. The only reason where we, the, the reason why some states have flattened the curve is because they isolated us. So be careful when you're going out there. Don't do things that, you know, indoors, like, you know, I'm going to go back to the gym and stay right here in close quarters with that person that's sneezing. Mm -mm. Child, not me. And I'm not even living fearful. I'm happy. I told somebody yesterday, girl, I miss nothing and no one. <laughs> no, it sounded so evil. <laughs> I guess because I work from home, I'm okay. You know, I miss the beach, of course, but the beach will be there next year and I have to be alive to be able to enjoy the beach next year. Maybe this year we'll get a pool and put it in the backyard, you know? 
Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up the video. You know, the, the likes really matter, and you guys have been doing great with the likes at both my platforms, Facebook and YouTube. Don't forget to share it, mention it someplace. I look forward to your comments. Let's get the discussion started down below. What do you think of Barbara's first mukbang from her little homemade studio in front of a green screen? Don't drag me too hard if it's ugly, okay? Because we're going to get better and better and better. Somebody, uh, one of my viewers, a longtime viewer, told me, Barbara, I just get the feeling that you're the kind of person that they can drop you out of a helicopter anywhere in the world and you'd be able to communicate with the people and get what you need to get done. I'm like, oh my God, I hold on to that when I feel like I'm failing and I'm falling apart. So I thank you guys, all right? I love you all for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Don't forget to check out my other YouTube page that's called uh, Bear Pantry Talk. I forgot, <laughs> Bear Pantry Talk. I'm gonna start putting some DITLs over there, okay? Bye. I thought, I thought those green leaves gonna contradict the, the green screen. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow, like, and share the page. If you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the page. And if you want to see me on a different platform, come and join the membership at Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Bear Pantry Show.